One of my favorite things to do is play basketball here at the Fontaine Gills Family YMCA. I started last season as a rookie and came back this season as a star. Maybe not a star quite yet, but I'm on my way. The coaches and leaders at the Y really share the core values of the YMCA's organization. Those values are caring, honesty, respect, and responsibility. They work with us individually and teach us how to be part of the team. I'm definitely a lot healthier from the weekly training sessions and that of course keeps me looking good. I've made a lot of new friends and I enjoy my time on the court. Not only are health and fitness improved at the YMCA, but building character and helping teams like me become better role models. Take that little guy over there for example. I can share a few pointers with him and help him build his skills. It's definitely a win-win for everyone. The YMCA is celebrating 50 years in Central Florida. With two locations in Lakeland, you should check out the one that's closer to you. I might never make it to the NBA, but I know that the Y is helping build the best me I can be. I got to get over there and give that little guy some tips on making layups. Derek Brooks, TSC News. Hello, ladies. I'm Derek, but people call me... Derek the Love Doctor. In my research over the years as the Love Doctor, I've discovered that each guy is a little different. And today, I'm gonna help you buy that perfect gift for your Valentine. Let's get started. If your guy spends all his time grinding the rails or cruising down the half pipe, there's no way to his heart than a gift card to Zoomies. There you can customize a new board, get trucks, bearings, new grip, he get a beanie, or get some new skate shoes. <laughs> He'll think you're rad, bro. <laughs> Yo, get back on defense. Zone, two, three, call your man. Yo, if your guy spends all his time on the court, getting in the perfect Valentine's Day gift is easy. You can get him something like a Miami Heat or Orlando Magic jersey. Or better yet, a customized bowl with your name or your face on it. So when he hits nothing but net, he can celebrate with you. What your gamer boyfriend really wants this Valentine's Day is to be left alone so we can game all day and all night. After he beats the level, maybe beats the game, then he might spend some time with you. But you don't have to spend any money and he'll appreciate this gift more than you'll ever know. Alright, so just get out of my way so I can finish this level. Oh, hi there. I'm Ralphie. This Valentine's Day, I just want some personality and someone to love me. Oh, and a new pocket protector. Oh, and the newest edition of my quantum physics textbook. It's the best book I've ever read. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, guys. If your fella loves all things country, and who doesn't, getting him something this Valentine's Day will be quick and easy. You could start with something like a camo jacket or some new boots. These will come in handy when he's slopping the pigs or playing in the mud. And for y'all gals on a tight budget, you can get them something like a mason jar for the sweet tea. Ooh, wee, that sounds delicious. Hey, y'all gonna make me something real quick. For y'all gals with a lot of money to spend, nothing that'll make them hoot and holler more than a brand new four-wheeler. Hey, speaking of four-wheeler, I'm gonna go hop on mine. See y'all later. So there you have it, ladies. These ideas are based on my extensive years of research and study, so you can't go wrong this Valentine's Day. This has been Dr. Derek with a special report for TSC News. It can be described as mouthwatering, tasty, savory, spicy, smoked, mm, finger licking good, and flavorful. No matter how you slice it, it's all around delicious. Simply put, barbecue is a cooking method which produces smoke. I'm here at Granger and Sons Barbecue to kick off our show all about this amazing food. To learn more about the history of barbecue, here's Erica with today's top story. Early cooks quickly realized that flavor, tenderness, and juiciness were related to how the food is cooked and how long. They also noticed that their food tasted better when it was held above or to the side of the fire. To find out what's cooking in the Shark Bag Cafe, as well as other school announcements, here's TSC News reporter Abby Brown with today's Shark Scoop. In the United States, pork became the go-to barbecue food, but chicken, beef, and turkey can also be enjoyed on the grill. To find out all of your favorite barbecue foods, here's Calissa with today's Hot Topic. If you love barbecue, then you won't want to miss out on Pig Fest. 
which is coming up January 29th through the 30th at Tigertown. There will be barbecue teams there competing in four categories, ribs, chicken, pork, and brisket. Here's TSC News reporter Aaron Bryan with all the beef on Pig Fest. Make sure y'all come out and check out Granger and Sons. They're five minutes from our school on 98 North. I know you'll love their food. Have a great weekend, everyone. Derek Brooks, TSC News. Yo, what up, DJ Esco? Man, I'm not sure. My mixtape is about to drop, and I just haven't decided on a mentor yet. Yo, one second. I think somebody's on the other line. Yo, Dre, this you? Yo, what up, man? It's dope, right? I'm glad you love it. No, I haven't made any decisions yet, but your offer's great. Yo, one second. I gotta go. I gotta film a special message for all my fans. Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, Need Money here. And things have been so busy, my mixtape's about to drop. And hey, I have a little sneak peek of my new music video for all of you to see. I got bars for days, know what I'm saying? So while I answer this call from DJ Khaled, who wants me to join his entourage, Y'all go check out the vid. Yo, cue the track. Boys versus girls, ain't no contest, it's true. There's no chance you can rap like we do. We got style, the rhymes, good looks and swagger. Lyrics so sharp, they'll cut you like a dagger. Frogs and snails and puppy dogs' tails will wipe up the floor while you're filing your nails. We're stomping on the girls with our name brand sneakers. Our rhymes and our raps are busting the speakers. I know you want me to be your bae, but I'll never buy you chocolates on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Boys versus girls don't know why you're still playing. You're too sweet, all our teeth are decaying. Rap is our game, no one else plays it better. Why don't you go home and knit me a sweater? Your rhymes are lame, ours kick up the sound. Maybe you can find some at the lost and found. You only live once, Drake shortens it to yellow. All that you can give us is a bassoon solo. What'd y'all think? It's dope, right? Man, this phone's been going off all day. It needs to chill. But y'all go check out my new mixtape. It's dropping May 4th, and you can find it absolutely everywhere. D-Money out. Peace. According to a journal of pediatric study, by the age of 23, 41% of teens and young adults are arrested more than once for something other than a minor traffic violation. The Lakeland Police Athletic League has many programs to prevent juvenile crime and violence. Through their crime prevention programs, their mission is to fill playgrounds, not prisons. On August 1st, 2015, this vacant building became the new home for the Lakeland Police Athletic League. This 3,511 square foot facility serves 200 youth. One of Powell's biggest fundraising events was held on August 22nd. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers played a benefit game against our very own Lakeland police officers. It's fundraisers like this one that help the Police Athletic League continue their programs for local students. On January 25th, Lakeland's newest restaurant, Glory Days Grill, joined forces with the Police Athletic League for a fundraiser. Part of the proceeds from 4 to 8 p.m. were donated to Powell's programs. January 9th was Powell's football and cheerleading banquet. These kids were rewarded for all their hard work this year. It's plain to see this group loves having fun both on and off the field. The Lakeland Police Athletic League's programs continue to expand each year. With help from the City of Lakeland, the Lakeland Police Department, local businesses, and those in the community, they're hoping today's youth become leaders now and in the future. Derek Brooks, TSC News.